I'm Ben Fields, and, I, and I'm here to tell you about the College of Education. The School of Education at Purdue University was established in 1908. The vision for the College of Education, as stated on the website, is the College of Education will be a global leader in responsive educational research and practice. We will achieve excellence through transformative research, exemplary professional preparation, and impactful engagement. Our individual and collaborative efforts will enhance the welfare of the citizens of Indiana, the United States, and the world. The mission statement of this school is advanced scientific discovery related to learning and human development, prepare exceptional teachers and intellectual leaders, maximize educational outcomes through inspired teaching, research, and public service. I have always enjoyed a teacher that is truly passionate about their students retaining material in the classroom. There's nothing more reassuring than a teacher who really cares. The Purdue University College of Education mission statement hits the nail right on the head for me. The, the maximize educational outcomes through inspired teaching, research, and public service really hits home for me. I would love to change the lives of students and make them want to learn. The majors in the College of Education range from elementary education, general education, curriculum and instruction, non-license, general education, educational studies, non-license, learning sciences and educational studies, non-license, social studies education, and special education. There are different course titles for the major in the college. Looking at general education, curric curriculum and instruction especially, some of the course titles are EDPS 235, Learning and Motivation, EDPS 265, the inclusive, the inclusive Classroom, and Foundations of Learning and Design Technology. EDPS 235, Learning and Motivation, teaches techni techniques that are crucial to classroom learning and getting students motivated to work. A lot of psychology is in this class and a lot of field work as well. I would love to learn what makes students really want to learn because I believe everyone has an internal drive that in, th that makes them capable to learn, and I would love to learn what makes people tick in that way. EDPS 265, the, in the Inclusive Classroom, teaches the disabilities and talents of some students, especially in the K-12 through classrooms, because I know that I, I definitely have some disabilities in the classroom, but I also definitely have some talents, and I know everyone is different, and I would love to know what makes a good student, whether whether that means accessing their talents or, find, or, or finding their disabilities that make them slower or, you know, not, a, not as good as the average student in the classroom and enhancing their ability to learn and to grow. Foundations of Learning and Design Technology is another, is another class that will need to be taken in this, in this major. It teaches the history of education and learning. Students in this class will learn the best tactics for their students to learn well. For example, teaching strategies and attitude in the classroom. They will also use the latest technology so they know how to work the ever-changing technological world. There are many jobs that come out of um, the general education curriculum and instruction, some of which are child care workers, as you can see in this picture here. And that is actually Eddie Murphy. I guess he works with children. And here's just a basic picture of what it would be like to work with kids. And you can see how happy everyone looks. And you can see that she gets extreme satisfaction out of helping kids and teaching them. And another kind of job that would come out of this is a school counselor. Now, I think this would be interesting because you can learn, you can learn how a student thinks and feels based on how, how, how often someone comes in a classroom or what they say or what the general feeling is of a school. And especially growing up, and going through school, obviously, I know what it's like to be stressed out about school and, you know, the, the ever-changing feeling of life. So these are definitely two jobs that I could get into. And um, other jobs for this uh, career or major is uh, being a camp counselor or uh, going to graduate or professional school, a policymaker and researcher. So if, I, if, if one were to go on to graduate and professional school, they could um, maybe become a principal or um, a superintendent, and or, or maybe even athletic an athletic director, and that's kind of the that's kind of the way I'm leaning. I think it'd be awesome to be a, be a high school athletic director. An MBTI result that would work well with this career is definitely E for extroversion, because someone who wants to do well will have to be able to talk and communicate very openly with kindness and and patience, patience especially, especially when you're working K through 12. 
S for sensing also matters because one would have to be able to sense other people's feelings easily. F for feeling because people in this field must be sensitive, understanding, and people-centered. And finally, J for judging because one must have a solid plan for teaching and curriculum schedules. Otherwise, your kids are not going to be learning much or if anything at all. My personal MBTI score is actually the one I just went into detail on. I feel like this is me because I am mostly um, an extrovert. And um, I, 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 I have always, I have to always be communicating with others and I love hearing other people's opinions. I like to use all five of my senses to interpret the world around me. And this means picking up on, on the thoughts, feelings, and actions of others for the sensing part. For feeling, I definitely am people-centered and I am all about understanding. I always have had to have a solid plan for my day and teachers need that, the judging aspect of MBTI scores. A specific quantitative reasoning course that is required for this major is Math 137 and Math 138, which are both math classes, obviously. A specific technological course that is required for this major is Educational Technology. This class entails all the technology that teachers have to use throughout their day. This is crucial for teachers, especially because of the ever-changing technological world. Teaching is moving towards all online classes and books, which some people some people appreciate and some people don't, and I'm not sure how I feel about it either, but you know, it is what it is. Some schools are even moving towards iPads and Nooks, which I think is really interesting because um, my school actually the high school that I went to actually um, we all had laptops and that was that was really cool when it first started out, but I think there are a lot of A V problems in my school. Um, foreign language is also required, but only until the third year. Um, also, there are there are forty five, there are forty four to forty five credits open for electives. So that means you could learn, you, you could you could develop so many skills in so many different areas, just just because this this uh, this major has a lot to to offer for free time, kind of. Uh, the code requirements for this, um, I'm just going to go through the basic ones. Um, you have to have one semester uh, here at Purdue already completed. Um, completed an English comp completion course, um, two years of high school, uh, for, uh, two years of high school foreign language, six credit hours, and an education course, and an application to Kodo, obviously. So for the next part of this documentary, I will be showing you Beering Hall, the building on campus where many of the classes will be taken in this major. Okay, so here we are outside of Beering Hall on University Street. This is where all of the education classes would be taken if you were a education major. And this is, it's right next to the math building and the wind tunnel there. And so this is, this is Beering Hall. Okay, so here we are in Beering on the third floor. These are all classrooms for the School of Education. Technology as well for education. All the education offices right up here. And here we have a bulletin board for studying abroad in Russia, Honduras, India. And here's some more displays of what it would be like to be a teacher out of the United States. And here are all the people, uh, or here are all the grad students and teaching. I've been here comparing our two majors, uh, movement and sports science, and uh, education. So um, to start off, these majors are not very easy to compare, especially because movement and sports science is very scientific. For example, my partner would need to take bio and anatomy classes, and uh, I would need to take classes that have more to do with psychology and teaching and understanding how the brain works to uh, advance um, a student's knowledge. And uh, a similarity between the two majors would be the GPA requirements for CODO. Um, some of the basic classes for the core curriculum would be similar, um, just general education classes. 
and uh, like COM 114 and some of the math classes. Um, another similarity would be potential careers after college uh, could involve teaching others and uh, in the education field and the sports field. So that's the comparison. The major I chose is movement and sports sciences. This is in the College of Health and Human Services. To get involved in this major, one must be deeply interested in human movement and sport. This curriculum includes courses like physiology, motor control, motor development, biomechanics, sport and exercise psychology, as well as sports history. To get a better idea of what kind of person would enjoy this major, we can look at the Holland Codes. Personally, I have a code of ESA. E is my strongest letter with a score of 51, meaning that I'm an enterprising type of person. The rest of my letters are within the respective limit to be interchangeable. For this particular major, there is no code, but a career that I plan to pursue from the degree has a code of SRE. In my case, being able to switch the letters respectively gives me the opportunity to get a maximum congruence score of 15. Scores of 12 or more are a good fit, so this seems like a good path for me. Before any of these possibilities begin, I must first get into the school. CODO stands for Change of Degree Objective and is something most exploratory students hear a lot about. The College of Health and Human Sciences has several CODO requirements. Firstly, you must have one semester under your belt and maintain a 2.5 GPA. This semester must have contained a minimum of 12 credit hours. Once that is done and the application process is to complete, I'll be on my way. As a Purdue student, there are core or general education classes that one must take. MA 153 is a general education math class that is required for this major. In more depth, this class deals with algebra and trigonometry. A core curriculum class geared more toward the major would be Biology 203. This biology course dives into human anatomy and physiology so you can see how it relates more towards movement and sports sciences. The course load may seem daunting at times, but as you get age, the 41 free elective spaces free you up to do things that you want to do. Furthering the customization of your degree, there is no foreign language required for this degree. So beyond that, you are free to explore your passions in the classroom. In the same boat, I'd like to share some specific courses and their descriptions that are crucial for this major. HK372 is Sport and Exercise Psychology 1. In this class, you will focus on factors, psychological and physical, that influence participation in sport as well as performance. This is a science class, so there will be labs as well as lectures. Another course you may want to hear about is HK253, Principles of Motor Development. This class introduces someone to the mechanics of motor movement and human development, which would be crucial in understanding movement in sports sciences. With all that said and done, it's time to start thinking of where you would spend your time over the course of your college career if you were to change into the College of Health and Human Sciences. The College of Health and Human Sciences is located in Stone Hall on 700 West State Street, diagonal from Beering. After graduation, there are numerous possibilities one can pursue with a degree in movement and sports sciences. Personally, I would like to pursue a degree in coaching football. Understanding the sport, as well as the biological development of humans, will be crucial in a good coach's career. The context of the science and the sport will give me a great background for that job. Other jobs that this degree can set you up for include physical therapy, motor development, learning, sports history, and sports psychology. Word, Let's take ready, a look ready. of a college football coach. Talk to yeah. the safety, talk to the back, and make you alert, pre-snap, all right? The more you communicate, the better, the better you be, the faster we get, we'll get lined up, all right? Talk to yeah. the safety, talk to the back, and make you alert, pre-snap, all right? The more you communicate, the better, the better you be, the faster we get, we'll get lined up, all right? Just dancing down that sideline working, just like, just like Guthrie High, just scooting right on down that sideline. Side. It's got to be right. Come on, buddy. It's left. Left. Come on, come on, come on, left. I have a high left leg. Got that? I just can't do this. 
design. Right left. I call it again. Right left. Right left. So I call it. You're thinking right now. Moving the ball moves. I'm thinking right left. Down. Go. Better, 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 better. Here you go. Now you have a better understanding of what majoring in movement and sports science entails. I hope this sparked some interest in the field. Thank you.